All right, all right. That's your vape. Uh, you know what? I I feel like this would be more entertaining if someone else uh, did the recap today. Uh, but I will do, as we always do, with roll call. Cook us. Uh, Dr. Stregan Shade. Yep. Salik. Uh, oh, oh, yes, yes. I am here. And Boblin. I'm Boblin. Now, who would like to recap last time? We fought a plant, and then I talked to a snake lady, and she said we have to go kill another snake. And I, I was probably yelled at. Very short and sweet and to the point. It is Boblin. It is Boblin, but you didn't have to do it in Boblin's voice. Look, you could have done it come, as the as folks come for Boblin. I, I, I only do what the people want, and people want Boblin. Right. Who are these people you're talking to? Uh, the two people <laughs> that watch the stream, which is Cat uh, and me, when I need to re watch. <laughs> All the people, Scorgon, all the people, the people I see all around me, they're the people who like Boblin. This is the people in his head, don't tell them that. I was going to say, are they the oh, other man. people that are talking to you? <laughs> uh, I, know. I figured. Yeah. Uh, you're recording for posterity, sir. Anyway. So. Um, last thing that happened was Boblin and the Doctor, because the Doctor was being played by, uh, by our now absent uh, friend uh, Totsig, who had a very rough day at work and decided to say, screw it, I'm collapsing on my bed. Good night. Uh, right. So he he's not here today. Uh, was playing the doctor, uh, which didn't do much of anything that the doctor wouldn't have done. He just didn't say much. Uh, so, uh, doctor, how do you feel about this uh, lady appearing to both of you in the middle of the night and offering you a deal to kill her boss. Well, I didn't hear the deal. <laughs> well, there, well, there was a recording of it. There was? Yes. It's, it's called on, Boblin's Memories. It's, uh, <laughs> it's on the YouTube channel. Oh, the deal, Saul. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got notes, right? <laughs> just, just read them again. <laughs> yeah. Or does he get one of our that extensive prep work you do? Oh, yeah, no, I, I passed out on my bed, uh, trying to get rid of a headache. So you know, uh, very minimal prep today. So there's that. Love that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should just get one of our other visitors to invent the uh, audio cassette. There you go. <laughs> well, first, I believe the first recording device was a tube that worked much like a uh, a, a disc for, uh, for like a DJ's stand. But that's besides the point. Um, right. The brain why am i uh why am i blanking where is right she wants us to kill our boss but yeah here we go uh <laughs> brain um uh i got my notes here it was um thank you uh, that's I an easy 
yeah. So the the snake woman uh, who I had the, the upper body of a human and lower a uh, lower torso of a snake uh, introduced herself as oh like Totsik, Tot but with less legs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's uh, very apt. Um, so yes, uh, she uh, came to you guys, came to the two of you in the middle of the night, and offered uh, the group a deal, considering that uh, the lot of you will be butting heads with her boss, Rosnisi. Uh, anyways, uh, she would like to offer you a deal. Uh, to kill him anyways. Uh, that way, she gets something she wants, and you get to do something that you're probably going to do anyways. This doesn't sound like a deal. Well, she gets to live when you... Uh, 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 when you guys eventually, you know, find him and kill him. But is she with They've what is she giving? That, that's my point. I mean, I understand why Boblin would have accepted this, but because uh, I mean, this sounds like his mythical quest and all. But I mean, I'm gonna be a knight. I'm gonna sound... kill a snake. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, why don't you just go kill my boss for me? Why? Uh, she offered you an alternative uh, way in. Uh, that would be not just storming the front door. Did she? Okay. I don't remember. Yeah, that's like the one thing I remember. Yeah. Yeah, she she offered an, an alternative way in. So she okay. can sneak us into... This still feels like something she should be offering us already if she wants us to do the job. Bobbin's gonna stand at the edge of the bubble and just yell, I wanna renegotiate! <laughs> she's, she's gone. Uh, she left a dagger. Yeah. Yeah, she uh I believe she left a dagger and a medallion on a necklace. Okay, so when she comes back, we're gonna set these in the middle of a rope and then when she comes and gets them, we're gonna pull the rope and it's gonna catch her by her tail. Why? Because we we wanna renegotiate. Bobbin's going to do his best toxic impression and Yeah, I always want to negotiate from a position of strength. <laughs> well, but we already have so much leverage over her. We don't really need to restrain her. I think she does magic, though. That doesn't matter. She basically just... We know that she's trying to... Uh, betray her boss. That's leverage in and of itself. Because see, now... Uh, like she said, we we probably might have to fight this guy, but... But, I mean, do we? Uh, one of the pieces of information that you did get was uh, Rosnisi was the one who was sending the uh, the Yuan T uh, around. That you okay. Fighting. Oh, right. Something that would be very apparent to you. Uh, the doctor being played by Totsig, uh, resuscitated uh, one of the Yuan T and is now following you as companion, along with the the elf, uh, your elf companion that is still around. Yeah, I had uh, when when I last left, it was right at the end of the battle, and we were closing for the night. And I just said, I want to make a note that I res two of the snake yeah. guys. Okay. 
Um, but that, uh, that basically puts me at my limit short one, but, um, being that I eventually am going to re-res my dwarf again at some point. All right. So Probably after this long rest that I'm assuming everyone is in the middle of. Yeah, you guys are, I believe, on second watch. Uh, it was... Uh, who was on first watch? Uh, it was... Yeah, it was uh oh yeah, it was Brian and Tokus and then you two. And then I believe the last one was Totsig and Sleep. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So awkward. But not something we haven't played around with right. before. So, so really, the the big question is is we're, we're probably going to have to kill him anyway. Why aren't we killing her? She's given us no reason not to. She she hasn't offered us anything of value other than, hey, I'm going to show you how to get in there. Well, if she doesn't show us how to get in there, then we're going to have to storm the front. And. If we get captured, I guarantee you the first thing I'm going to tell the boss is, uh, hey, you got this person that's uh, betraying you. So it's in her best interest to uh, to make sure that, you know, we're as successful as possible. So she's going to have to up her, uh, her, <laughs> her offer, I think. There's got to be something else. To make it worth our while. Yeah. So, okay, just just to kind of get the entire crew in on this, uh, are, are you guys going to tell them in the morning, or are you going to wake them up now? We're second watch, right? Yeah, you're second watch in yeah. the middle of the night. And she's going to show up in, like, first thing in the morning? Uh, she said it, it, uh, sometime tomorrow. Uh, she'll so f she'll find you. As long as she's not gonna like appear while I'm still taking my sleep during the third watch, and uh, I, I think this can wait till morning. There's no reason to wake everybody up. Let them get the rest. Yeah, well, let them sleep, and then we can. When they wake us up, then we can be ready when she comes back. Yeah. But right. that's that's my plan. Is you know we if we're going to to ally with her, there's got to be a reason other than. It's got to be something else. I mean, is she going to be able to get us out of this place? Since we know we're stuck in here unless we're dead? Could she, could she give us the rest of the puzzle cubes? Don't we have all the puzzle cubes, pretty much? I don't. Bonk, go back to sleep. <laughs> He's trying to get his sleep. Roll him yeah. over. You missed it. <laughs> nah. <sighs> so wait, wait, I think we still need two. That's probably about all right. Or maybe she knows something about where they are, or has one, or maybe something like that. It's been a long time. What wasn't there something about if we get all the puzzle cubes, we can get out of here? Uh, the pu the puzzle cubes, from what you uh know, are what you what you need to get uh 
to get into the area that has the whatever is causing the death curse. Which is what you're you are looking for when you're here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It is what drive drove the plot forward. The death curse which is killing anything that has died or is uh, or has been resurrected and stopping people from being resurrected. Right. Oh, well, let's let's get the rest of uh, the people's opinion on this in the morning. Okay. Okay. Uh, the rest of the night is fairly calm. Uh, are you going to wake up Potsig? And who was, yeah, who was uh, third botch? Uh, Todd and Salik. And Salik? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. We're gonna do that. Alright, so just act as though nothing is wrong until the morning. <clears throat> and then tell people, oh hey, we would have been in danger. Yeah. Okay. In the morning, pretty much it's going to be guess what Boblin did. <laughs> <laughs> he he negotiated right. a magical quest for everybody to go on. How does this sound to everybody else? We're going to kill his bo her boss. That's it. That I, 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 I don't I don't quite like the way you're framing this. <laughs> In my defense, it was a lot more confusing when there was a snake lady. <laughs> so, you spoke to a... I'm assuming everybody's awake now, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm, All right. I'm going to skip to the morning. Everyone's awake. Hi. All right. So, so you spoke to a strange lady in the middle of the night, more or less alone. Not herself, and opacity to tiny hut. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was from last week. <laughs> that was from last week. <laughs> Boblin? Hi. Dad pissed. <laughs> he hasn't so said anything. I, I, I... I'm a knight, and I take responsibility for my actions, but I also want to point out, I had a chaperone. <laughs> and, and where was he, huh? <laughs> this is just really awkward, because the person who played the doctor... That night is the <laughs> one that's missing. <laughs> this is just weird. Regardless, uh, that's a big word. Um, the snake lady is gonna come back, and so we should have a plan when she does. Yeah, no, no ropes. What about a net? And then we can rip her face off and it reveals that she's an out-of-work landscape developer like I saw on the cartoons. What's a cartoon? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. I thought that was playing Scooby-Doo, Jeff. All right. I know, but like... <laughs> um, what about Annette?
What if so we put up an anti-magical vortex? Let, 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 let's... Yeah, how about quick, that, Elliot? Quick question, Bobo. Do you have a net? Uh, let me look. Bobo goes and begins rifling through his stuff. I have Strawberry's cage. Right. But no net. And nobody hammer. else here has a net. So I have rope. No net. Again, um, we're we're not we're not gonna rope her. We could we could make a net out of rope. Is this? We got like twenty inventors. <clears throat> We have 20 what? Inventors. Oh, inventors. Yeah. Why don't we just talk to her? That went so well for you last night. Last time that happened, I got yelled at. <laughs> yeah. It happened 20 seconds ago. Yes, and uh, perhaps we can find out what it is exactly we get out of this deal. Aside from, yeah, yeah, getting an alternate route to her boss. Yes, I'm sure something that uh, uh, <laughs> everyone here should be familiar with, and uh, Tatsik, I'm sure, has informed you a lot about Boblin. It's it's called risk and reward, not risk. <laughs> Reward. Yes. See, I like the reward part, not the risk. As she just, uh, as you just turn your head and she's over at the end of the hallway. Uh, there she is. Outside of Rowan, <laughs> outside of the house. Togas, get the net. The net. Hello. So that. Yeah, so he just face bombs. <laughs> I long rested. Well, if you would like to talk, you may follow. <laughs> yes, well, I'm not entering the room. It's this dilapidated house. A uh, <laughs> bit of self-preservation, I think. I've seen what you do to people. Yes. About that point, wait, how long did that hit last? <laughs> it, it probably is, uh... I'm probably about to expire, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel that is a perfectly fine accord. Uh, yeah. Well, I can tell you about uh, what my my master has been doing and what he's been uh, up to with this uh, death curse. I can also tell you uh, some, some very interesting information about the about how this has come about. Other okay. Than that, uh, money, gold, weaponry. I I do have access to uh, armor. If you would like to poke around in there. Um. Mm, it's all about finding the right incentives, I think. Yeah, yeah. I I can poke around in armory. I would ask you not to take everything, but knowing your kind, you would just find a way to take everything, leave behind an illusion, and run out before we could find it. We would never do that. We are honorable adventurers. I am a knight. 
You said that last time. Yeah, it, I, I'm, I'm kind of offended by that your kind uh, remark. I mean, he's not a real centaur. I was more talking about the occupation, but uh, now I at least know what that was. Odd. I've never seen someone like that. I wonder what their bones look like. Well, that's neither here nor there. It depends on which half. Um, but. So, but armory, yes. Um, yes. and information. You can um, you can give us information on the way to to said armory. Uh, armory information, and I presume a cease to hostilities. Yes. Uh, Considering it is rather easy sending all these thugs after us. Yes, that uh, that would be the three things you would get out of this uh, arrangement. I'm assuming if we kill the boss, you're the new boss. Uh, there is someone who would be in the way of that, but uh, he would either join in on the fights or uh, trying to protect Rosnisi, or I would deal with him afterwards. Either way. Uh, I think I have those uh, those options covered. Okay. Now, before this happens, uh, if I would like a favor done in loyalty. loyalty? What, what's killing your boss? Yes. Yeah. What is what is there to say that after you kill him, you don't kill me? Well, how helpful are you going to be to us? That was very mm. nightly. Let Toka say it. Toka, you say the mean things. <laughs> Toka, you say the mean things. <laughs> He's adorable, isn't he? Yes, but again, that's that's no guarantee. I've yes. It's not like you were talking about that in the night or anything. Talking about what? Murdering me. And she just gives a knowing smirk. So it's kind of hard to see from this uh, distance. Uh, you could talk from in, in and outside of the bubble, right? Uh, you could hear things outside of the bubble. Uh, let me let me pull that up real quick. You can't see, uh, and nothing can affect you. But you can. Uh, it, nothing there, from what I understand, says you can't be heard. Oh, the creatures are not really far from passing through it. And I'd also like, like, like to point out the very last thing. It's transparent from the inside. You can see out. They can't see in. Can you completely hear you inside? <laughs> yeah, the dome is opaque from the outside. <laughs> yeah. Of any color you choose. Hmm. I've, never, I've never seen... Uh, I, I got really pay attention to that, I guess. I've always thought it was just like a uh, a clear force field. Huh. Didn't know that. Uh, okay, let me tell you. Hot. Metal place not pass into the screen. So. It says nothing about sound. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's see. Um, if I'm in the hut, uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that big a deal. Uh, 
Also, it goes both ways. After we kill your boss, what's stopping you from betraying us? I got what I want. My my point is is that we're we're entering into a, a a deal here. If you don't trust us now, it it goes both ways. We don't exactly trust you, but we're willing to 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 do our part of the deal. You just have to trust that after that's done, we won't kill you, and we will trust that you're not going to betray us. Well spoken. Now, there are a handful of ways I could sneak you into my master's uh, abode, into the fortress. The easiest would be to disguise you as slaves. A.E., you'd be slaves for a couple of days, and I'd hide, and I'd get your stuff at, uh, to you within a period of time. Uh, I don't quite like the sound of that. It would be the easiest way. We do make raiding runs to get slaves for our uh, for our blood sacrifices. And what if you get and hungry? And you start uh, chomping on our fingers. Yes, but again, trust. Okay, you didn't you deny the, the whole finger eating thing, and I find that a little disturbing. Mrs. Chelt, what's the least of your worries? Um, and uh, the other options? Uh, another option would be, uh, I could, uh, hmm, I'd have to post some loyal, uh, or oh, loyal to me, uh, some loyal, uh, Guards on the border while we are doing a well. It is ritual night, uh, but uh, during a, one night of the week we gather for a ritual. And most of our most of our con convent is there. Uh, if we post, if I post some loyal people at the gate, they can let you in. And you could uh, you could sneak in to Rosnisi's chamber and murder him in his sleep. Maybe I I'll leave that part to you to figure out. Yeah, so that one might need a bit more preparation. Then. Yes. Uh, lastly, would be. Uh, a faked frontal siege, either by you or another uh, adventuring group. And while that's happening, uh, have uh, having most of the guard go that way as I sneak you in a different way. Yeah, it, I think we're a pretty sneaky bunch. Yes. Uh, that, that would take a couple of days. Uh, and by that point, from what I've from what I've seen of uh, his plans, uh, he would have his agents acquire the final puzzle cubes. That would be very advantageous for you. You could take those on your way out. I don't quite care. Uh, and you're sure they'd be the correct puzzle cubes? Uh, well, considering the care t the care uh, uh, yeah, the caretakers of Omu um, have been murdered by a giant ice Tyrannosaurus Rex. 
I don't think any of the temples are going to be taken care of anymore. Unless I can <laughs> find some more coal bins. Right, uh, there, there is that uh, that bit as well. The, the giant <laughs> is Tyrannosaurus Rex, uh, and presumably the uh, <laughs> the man the man who is controlling him is going to. Yes, yes, uh, yes. We we dealt with that. Oh yes, we <clears throat> we yeah dealt with it quite early, quite early indeed. No, we didn't almost die in the process, but yes, we yeah, uh, it, it is done. Mm. <laughs> Go on, you were there, Bobloon. Uh, tell us how handily we uh, dealt with it. It was big and made of ice, and we smashed it to bits. Did you happen to find a mask when you killed it? No. Uh, no. No mask. Uh huh. Well. Whether you have it or it is uh, still in his possession. There's still the matter of Mr. Sember, uh, though I believe he's uh, gone quite mad at this point. He's been quite a thorn in everyone's side, from what I am told. No, no, it might be your problem later, but at the current moment, it is not. But mm, yeah, mm. I think I can find some people within the next ten day to uh, take up guard duty at the museum. Ten, ten days? Ten within, days? Within the ten day. But ten days, and it kind of sucks here. Yes. Well, we <laughs> don't have to it sucks here. You, you don't do the blood sacrifice to Dendar the Night Serpent every night. That would be redundant. Well, and and why do we need to wait for the sacrifice? Because then everyone is preoccupied. Again, we need something to distract the masses. Hmm. So what, we just hang out here until... You're well, ready? You can do whatever you want. But we're looking for puzzle cubes, and your boss has the puzzle cube. Well, he doesn't have all of them. I know he at least has one of them. I don't think he's gotten that way, as she points over, the, uh, presumably to the cliff. I don't think he's gotten that way yet. So if you want to be adventurous, you could go over there. I still have things to repair. Yes, and you also said that uh, you were you had some information on the uh, death curse and how it works and. Yes, but uh, I'll. I believe that was a part of the reward for killing Rasmussen. Right. <clears throat> and the. Uh, the weapons. Again, it's in our armory within our compound, which is part of the reward. Would you like some uh, some incentive before I leave? So, hmm. A little advance pay, if you will. Hmm. Well, if it will uh, calm calm your minds. The. I wouldn't even say man anymore. The being who has set up this death curse is called Asirat. He's a lich. 
he has made a deal with uh, my master, Rosnisi, to to kill any adventurers that get into Omen to keep the death curse going. I don't know for what reason he wants it done, but he is let us just say interrupting our worship. Is that is that enough for you? Um, out of Garadirt. Did no, we had this character mentioned before, right? The um, that that was my these were knows some time ago, but it was basically like some yeah dark creature that was yeah run, roaming around. Dark creature. Like I know Nanny Poo Poo had something to say about that, but it was so long ago I can't remember what it was. Um, possibly. I don't know, I have to pull up my old old notes. So um Yeah. And then you yeah. Yes. Huh. Now that I've given you a bit of a taste, I think I'll be on my way. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, if, if and I like assume sure. that within the next ten days there won't be any more attacks on us. Well, I don't go out of your way to uh, to try to avert that. Uh, I will do what I can without tipping my hand. Uh, I will not guarantee, but I will put in some work for specifically your group. I don't think you mind if any of the other adventuring groups in in Omen currently uh, have a little run-in. I think there's at least five right now. At least that I know of. Five other adventuring groups? Yes, uh, it seems people from around, uh, around the Sword Coast have been very adamant about figuring out how to stop this death curse. Very productive, I would say. My, my. I was like, Omu has become quite the hot spot. Yes. They will see any tourists stand soon. No, uh, I, I don't think it would. It seems a bit rough to get here when you have to walk at least a month in the in the dry, dry, uh, the dry and wet parts of a zombie-infested wasteland. But that's and the dinosaurs and the newts and you know, all the undead and sleep. <laughs> you know what? Uh, no, she wouldn't. She wouldn't screw with you. Yeah, you're <laughs> doing her a favor. Your friend there is quite entertaining. Hi. <laughs> no. Wouldn't mind as uh, she uh, does a gesture, and you hear a shink as the knife, uh, as you look in the knife she left behind last night, just kind of dislodges itself from the wall and then goes over to her uh, over the hut. I think uh, I will bid you all farewell. As she leaves. <laughs> well, <laughs> it sounds like we have some time. So maybe we should head over toward the lava temple. 
while we wait for the snake leg. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. So you guys have been studying these cubes, right? You know all what they can do? Is there anything we can use them for? To assist us in doing something? Yes, they can form a pair of wings and we can fly. And this, I've been told this is not true. So they don't like turn people to gold or anything. No, that was a few tables back. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, out of character, refresh my memory. Is that one that turned people to stone still active? Uh, I believe at this point you guys have probably tested it out and it would have stopped at this point. How exactly did we test it out? I don't know, dumping it out of the bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how did we test it? How did we test it? It does it have out? a magical. Uh, <laughs> it's still a catch. Like all of it, all of these uh, cubes do. Yeah. But yeah, let's go get the one that he don't have. It'll make it. E it should make it easier if he has any duplicates, since duplicates are a thing. Duplicates are a thing. The last band of Andrew had puzzle cubes that we already possessed. Interesting. So we may not even have to kill him. We could just get a different one. I mean, we we got to wait a week anyway. We might as well look into that. Oh, that could happen. Possible. But uh yeah, let's let's do this. Right. Shrink people. Mm. I thought the plan was to scout it out first, but that could work. Onward, Birdie. Uh, and with that, and if you guys wouldn't mind, because, uh, I did not prep, uh, enough for today, uh, would you mind calling it early for tonight there? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So I can read up on the, uh, the temple and things, uh, for if things go bad. Which they will. Things aren't gonna go bad. I got all my spells back. It'll be great. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a long rest, yeah? Yeah. yeah you guys got right. a yeah. rest. And we are still level 6? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Sure? Yeah. Is that what we are?